I am Varun Chakravarti. I am delighted to secure All India Rank 1 in NEET 2023. My name is Venkat Kaundinya. I have scored 300 out of 300. Hi, I am Chidvilas. So my journey started in when I was 9. So what are the topics which we have covered in class 9? Any topic for class 11 which you covered in the class 9? Yes. What are those? In maths I covered BNC, permutation and combinations. BNC you have did in class 9 sir? Yes. Okay, and? And almost all of the maths topics. All the topic of maths of class 11 you did in class 9. Yeah, except integration, I guess. And, and you are able to cope up with those things? I actually did not do it in full depth, but I did it as much as I can. And it, it's it's your interest that you uh, start reading and start doing the class 11th in class 9th, right? Yes. So because of that, you have never faced any pressure or any kind of thing? No, I faced no pressure. It was my self-interest that I had to learn my topics and I, I was actually very interested in maths when I was young. In this journey, Infinity Learn Meta app helped me a lot. Uh, I want to brief some important features which may help others to repeat this result. Uh, one of the feature is CYOT, create your own test. Means most of the students uh, suffer to come across their questions which may be keep wrong. For example, you kept a question wrong in your, one of the tests. After coming across few tests like 10, 20 tests, if you are given the same question, there is a 50% possibility if you are not revising the question properly, you may keep the same question wrong in the coming exam. So this feature help us, it will collect all the questions which, which are based on the errors and uh, it will give you a test based on the errors and you know, you will know, okay, you came across those errors or not. If you, if you are out of those errors, then it will give some questions similar to those, similar to those errors. And finally, if you are not clear, if you don't have clarity in the topic, you can choose the subtopic in which you have doubt and you can generate questions. It will help you a lot. So I started my preparation in 8th class. So first I covered all the easy topics to boost my confidence and then I, um, I did difficult topics, relatively difficult topics. So the first thing is that he starts his preparation from class 8th. So uh, the first and foremost important thing is what is your motivation behind J? Why you want to become an IITian? What is the motivation behind that? I love computer programming, so I want to, I want to join some computer science branch in IIT. So you want to become a computer engineer? That's why you want to become an IITian, right? Yes. And you start preparing from class eight. And uh, when you are in class nine, I, I remember a uh, couple of months back I was uh, asking same question to Venkatesh. Venkatesh is there. Venkat is not there, no? Okay. So, uh, he was All India Rank 1 in JE Main and your friend also. So, I asked, he told me that when he was in class 8, he faced few difficulties while preparing the math subject. And same thing happened with you also in when you are in the class 9 and you are working with the class 11th topic. Do you face any problem or you are enjoying with the maths? I face no problem because... Uh, I need an honest thing. answer. Yeah, I'm honest. <laughs> There is only a single reason that I face. I mean, I face some problem, but not much. The reason being, my teacher started it from basics and they laid the foundation very well and they went topic by topic. And I co covered every topic as much as I can. So when I go to the next topic, all the topics that went done till now, I've covered them perfectly. So I face no, not much of trouble in the new topics that I covered. Although I face some trouble in physics, but in maths, I face no problem. The second feature is flashcards and it is useful when you have less time and more syllabus to cover and uh, need to get clarity in the concept. Actually, in this feature, you, you can scroll through the concepts and uh, if you are okay with the some point of concept and you can skip it. If you, are, if you want to read something more or know something more information about that, you can, you can have the option where there is read more and you can elaborate the concept. So it is one of the best feature which I learned from Infinity. And one more thing, uh, just before this interview, I was asking you, you uh, started, you are from class 1, you are from Sri Chaitanya? Yes. From class 1 to class 12. All 12 years you are with Sri Chaitanya. Okay, and teachers also motivate you to do this? Yes, from 8th on. From 8th on. 
So let's start the class 11th journey. So when you are in the class 11th, what I have seen when the student comes to the class 11th, there is a very big uh, syllabus gap between 10th and 11th. So generally, uh, let's say there are 100 students. I have seen uh, more than 30% student get demotivated when they reach to third or fourth chapter because of the jump in the syllabus. So have you faced that problem? When I started in 8th, I did face that problem. You have faced this problem in class 8th? Yes, because that's when I started. <laughs> Which topic um, in class 8th you have read and you faced this problem? The very first chapter. What is the name of that chapter? In physics, it was, uh, base, uh, they teach vectors and basic mathematics. So you, vector and basic mathematics you have done in class 8th? Yes, in physics, uh, as, um, as per the requirement of physics. Okay. Not 2D. And you face pr problems in class 8th. And how those problems, what, what are the solutions which you have found find out for to uh, get out of this problem? Uh, I, I found this problem mainly in physics. So what I did was, I, I read a lot of reference books. I in class 8, you start reading reference books? H.C. Verma. Class 8, you have start reading H.C. Verma? Yes. Okay. And you are able to understand the H.C. Verma language? No. No? I kept asking my teacher many doubts. As he explained, I got literally more and more comfortable. And finally, I even felt uh, by the end of 8th class or beginning of 9th class, I started feeling comfortable with problems. Another feature I want to discuss. Uh, here, uh, there is a difference in offline and online exam. In online tests which we attempt in Infinity, Infinity and Meta app, uh, we can get instant solutions just after the set test. So there will be less anxiety and uh, even there are video solutions, uh, not only text because there is an advantage of text over video solution, uh, video over text solutions because video, there is a chance of uh, elaborating the concepts in which you are lagging, which is absent in text solution and even there is analysis on your uh, error questions which may help you to find in which sections you are weaker and uh, what type of questions you need to practice during the course of journey. Physics you have also mentioned in class 11th also you have faced some problem right. So uh, this is a very fundamental question for all the students who are listening and you all the your juniors. Uh, there are lot many students who face problem while understanding the concept right. So teachers are teaching but the kind of understanding required to clear that concept how you overcome the physics problem? What are the processes you follow? Which kind of content you read? And how you build your conceptual clarity with numerical solving ability? Okay. What we have to understand is that physics is not much different from math. Every Physics and maths, they have the same thing, which is they start from a fundamental theory and then they develop everything from there. So in physics, we should not rush. First, learn the fundamentals correctly and learn what exactly is a theory. And such as if you take mechanics, first you have to learn what exactly, are, you have to learn the basics perfectly and then move on to the next thing. And you have to learn everything with crystal clear clarity and have no doubt. We have to not rush and have patience in physics. Actually, physics is, uh, now physics feels as natural as maths to me and the mistake that I made when I was in 9, I remember was that I rushed in physics. I rushed into problem solving and I rushed to solve more material. First learn the fundamentals perfectly in physics and that will definitely help you get to your best in physics. When you attended the first class, the teacher explained all the concepts because in class 8, 9, 10 you already know that you understand that concept very clearly and then you start solving the Sri Chaitanya booklet. I have seen the booklet questions are really very good level of questions. So when you solve the first objective, second objective, let's say there are 100 objective questions. Are you able to solve all the 100 objective questions in one shot or you are also facing some problems? First of all, I didn't even understand the concept in the beginning 8th class. No, in class 11th. 11th. Uh... So I did face some difficulty in solving problems, but as the time progressed and as the more I practiced, the more comfortable I am. But let's say, what I am asking, let's say there is a first chapter, right? So in chemistry, the first chapter is structure of atom. So first thing in the first lecture of atomic structure, you understand the concept. While solving the question, have you faced problems? Yes. 
सो वट इज द सोल्यूशन यू है फाइंड आउट टू ओवरकम दैट पर्टिकुलर न्यूमेरिकल और एनी अदर हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू आर अनेबल टू सॉल्व आउट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन यू आर अनेबल टू सॉल्व एंड देन यू आस्क द टीचर और वट First, I identified the subtopics, and then I again revised those from the class notes. And if I still had, an, and then I once again I attempted the problem. If I still wasn't able to solve it, I went and asked the teacher. And the final feature I want to discuss is pre-weekend tests and homeworks. Actually, pre-weekend tests help us a lot. Means you completed the syllabus. Uh, if you attempt a pre-weekend test, you will know that uh, some topics which you think you have covered. but they are missed during the course of revision will be covered after attempting the pre weekend test and the homework is obviously required every day for achieving good success uh, i want to know the exactly what you have done in physics specifically in that particular part uh, when you are uh, preparing the content let's say the first topic is vector let's say assuming that you are uh, about to learn vector right so the first tip what you did before going to any class any lecture do you revise the vector by yourself or you straight forward attend the lecture i attend the lecture first you attend the lecture first right and you understand the lecture entirely not the first time entirely but i und- i'll understand it almost this is a very important thing for all the juniors because uh, when you attend any classes there is a possibility that few portion you are unable to understand and the student get demotivated and they feel that they are unable to understand the lectures uh, you can listen from the all india rank 1 he is a god gifted brain and he was also saying that there are few topic which he in the inside the lecture he was unable to understand and after that he read the books right and one more problem maximum student face let's say any topic pick up pick about about the let's say vector it required 15 lectures to complete what i have seen first lecture student uh, give full attention second the attention decreases when it comes to 16 the attention decreased to 10% the reason behind there is a backlog of 16 lecture so on 15th of lecture you required all the topic you need to know understand all the 13 lecture so have you faced such kind of backlog problem yes i too faced a backlog problem and your point is actually very valid whenever you go to the next portion if you have some kind of backlog in the previous portion you'll feel that something is missing so whenever suppose in the example of vectors now we are going to the third lecture and in the second lecture you had some doubts but you forgot to clarify them uh, that should be avoided whenever the second lecture is done on the same day you have to clarify whatever doubts you have and get fully confident in whatever has been done till today and in the next lecture just understand the lecture wholeheartedly